Hey guys, do you want to know how to make a body cam game like this using new event? Well, I can show you today. Alright guys, so we're back with another video. And this time I'm pretty excited because I've actually not dabbled in first person yet in new event. And as well, the body cam effect is pretty popular right now on Fortnite. So what we're just gonna do is make a new island. Uh, so blank or whatever. I don't know what's gonna call this. Body cam effect map. Uh, this doesn't really matter. You name it whatever you want, okay? I'm guessing if you're using this, uh, you're probably gonna make a game or you just wanna test out with some stuff, okay? Uh, this will not require verse today. So what we're gonna first start off with Okay, is making the post process and all that stuff. So, what we're gonna want to do, okay, is I already made some assets. So please go down into the comment section and go to Discord, and there should be a place. Uh, I'll show it right now. There should be a place right here, UEFN downloadables and Fortnite UEFN, and you should be able to go here and get body cam downloadables so just download all three of these okay and then in your map we can just right click the folder and we'll call this body cam folder or, or body cam mate and import and just import these assets so uh what we'll do first is import the body cam thing so we'll just import that image um so to import the U asset, uh, what we're gonna have to do, I believe, is just, I think right click here or wait, where is it? Uh, because it does not automatically pick up the U asset or whatever it's called. Uh, so you know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to go to our project folder, okay, and go to wherever it is. So I'm gonna go here and then we have to, I believe, go into plugins and then this, yeah. So then we can go to content and then I'm going to go to body cam main and we could, I believe, just drop those in. So let's go here, download, just select both of these U assets, drag them over here and put them here. Copy to. Okay, so I believe that should work. So if we do that now, uh, following on are from an unknown source. These them may be harmful to your computer. Okay, that's not true yes allow these so let's just save this all for now and what we're gonna do is let's right click this and create material instance and just check that so this should theoretically work so we check sharpen strength and it should and it does work okay so we can sharpen it however we want if you put maximum um you see that looks kind of good no that does not um but we're just gonna for me i'm just gonna put like uh let's just put like kind of like that so it's like a little distorted in a way and it looks kind of pixely a little bit uh so we just save that and same for the body cam effect we're gonna create material instance check that like that and then so we have to just check all these just like that and we don't care about that so this is where you could change this stuff so there's area fall off you could like do this there's area radius like that and there's lens distortion okay whoa okay okay that's kind of crazy but yeah so the best settings i would recommend is yeah so what we're gonna do is put here two uh point one these are settings ah uh, i like i'm gonna change some things so your point nine three and here we'll put 0 0.33 okay and what i like to i like to add a little bit more lens distortion a little bit more area or less actually well, let's put a little bit more area ready and let's make a bit more area fall off kind of like that uh let's do like all the way like there okay see so, yeah. so let's just file save that okay so what we're also going to need to do okay is right click and we're gonna go to material make a new material and we're going to call this body cam uh image map okay uh so we'll just save this and down here material domain we're going to put post process or well first we're going to change this to translucent and then we're going to put post process okay and then we can just drag our image right there we can put rgb emissive color and then uh a will go to opacity and, and yeah so as well i believe we need to change something so we got to go here and 
search alpha and we put output alpha and there we go so now we have that effect okay so we could just file so we could just save that now and yeah so what we're gonna also do is go up here to this block or whatever and we could just go to visual effects and a post process volume okay and i'm just gonna make this bigger like there okay and i'm just gonna go in here to the details panel okay and we're gonna find post process materials and we're just gonna add three of those okay so we're gonna add our body cam effect or first we have to put asset reference on all these so let's do that and then we can just drag all of these so we have that one or actually let's let's use the instance because it's because that allows us to change the settings a bit more so let's we'll put the instance boom and then we'll also put our other this one the body cam image material we'll put that and now if we go here boom you see it's pretty good actually and that works uh yeah i believe that's what we got to do with that you could change other settings as well uh i'll actually you know i'm gonna add some motion blur I'm gonna, let's add some motion blur. let's just put all these uh target fps shirt uh, max amount let's put like uh six add some motion blur as well sure and yeah so you could just change these however you want and really whatever yeah so once that's done okay now we just get into the part where we create the first person so what we're gonna do is go to all and we're gonna search up camera orbit and we're gonna put one of these and what we're gonna do is go down here we're gonna put clamp vertical rotation check that and the first value here is going to be negative 65 and then this one's going to be 65 and then field of view we're going to do 120 okay and next we're going to change let's go down here to the offsets so offset x is going to be 30 centimeter the next one's going to be zero y is going to be zero and the z is going to be 78 okay or yeah i think i got one of these uh, we're also going to put offset when crouched and then down here for the horizontal speed we're going to do a thousand and for vertical we're going to do a thousand okay and uh, yeah so i don't know why i think i added the wrong value so i put x offset x is 30 i think it's because this y i think it needs to be 9 team or see we got a kind of a problem here uh because right now it's like this and it's not first person uh oh it's because i believe distance needs to be zero okay there we go so we got one and i'm gonna just name this we're gonna name this normal normal fps we're gonna duplicate this we're also gonna add one called uh aim in fps okay and this setting these settings for this one the offset x is gonna be 38 the y is gonna be 19 and then the z is gonna be 70 okay so now we just need one more device and that is the input input trigger and we're just gonna drag that in put it right here uh and then all we're gonna really need to do uh is go up here we're gonna put standard action for the input type and the standard input will be target and then uh so now we could just go to this device over here uh to normal fps and we're gonna do remove uh from player plus that and we're gonna go to the input trigger and that's gonna be when the input is pressed Okay, and then we're going to add to player, okay, from the input trigger when it's released. And then our on our in, aim in FPS, we're going to add to player when the input trigger is pressed. And we're going to remove it uh, when it is, let's see, yeah, when it's released. Okay, so input trigger and released. So it's the opposite, right? So on this one, it adds it when it's released and then it removes it when it's pressed. But this one, it adds it when it's pressed and removes it when it's released okay so basically all those are done okay yeah so all those are done and now if we launch session we should be good to go so uh before i do that all i'm gonna do is just put down some weapon i can use so i'm gonna search here item spawner i believe uh let's see item spawner is it item spawner yeah item spawner right there and i'm just gonna add a weapon so uh i spawn item on timer yep let's put zero zero for both of these item list what i'm gonna do is let's add like a uh a combat pistol uh sure like that and items respawn yeah sure uh let's put also where's the ad ammo initial ammo uh we'll put like i don't know that, 999 okay so we could get a weapon now 
And as well, what I'm gonna do is also just put some guards, so we could at least fight something. Uh, so yep, guard spawner right there. Uh, and I'm gonna not spawn through walls, just spawn a few. Uh, and as well, we'll turn off infinite spawn for now. Uh, spawn on timer, sure. And for this, we'll just put wildlife creatures for team option. And the spawn radius, we're gonna make that smaller just to fit in that zone. Or we could just make the zone bigger also. Let's just make this zone bigger uh, like that. And then we could just go here uh, and max patrol distance. Sure, I'll just do that. Okay, well, everything else here, I don't care. Uh, let's put accuracy high because i'm a pro player at fortnite and i guess that's it that's what i'm gonna do so let's launch a session and let's see how this looks all right so we are in right now so let's start the game and we should be able to be in first person yep and let's just grab our weapon uh so the guard spawn over there so we should be able to go into first person and boom so when we zoom in it's like this so we can have still some zoom in and when we're not zooming in it's like this which seems actually is pretty good uh don't know why the guard didn't spawn and we have the oh this is pretty good so when we zoom in it's like this when we shoot it's like this so it's pretty good so when we zoom in at least we could have some sort of zoom in because i know uh other ways you could do it is just remove the fps entirely and just zoom in normally so yeah so that's pretty good and yeah so i guess that wraps up this video so i hope you enjoyed it and gloopcraft is about inspiration and learning bye